Ladies and gentlemen of the relationship world, it is time that we have a conversation about fairness. For hundreds of years, women have been expected to cook, clean, take care of the house, take care of us, take care of the kids. And as of the last, let's call it 60, 50 to 60 years, take care of the finances as well. I'm saying this not to drop a hammer on men or to drop a hammer on women, but I'm saying this to start the conversation because things for the most part aren't fair. Women these days are expected to provide, to pay half, to bring money to the table. But then they're also expected to be freaks and in their feminine and in their flow while simultaneously cleaning up absolutely everything and holding the role of CEO of the house, which oftentimes is a very unforgiving job. It is a thing that never ends, that you never get paid for, that feels completely heavy and uh, thankless. And so I'm bringing this up, not one, again, not to like drop the hammer on men or women, but to have us collectively as a, a group, a, a conscious community, start to remember that what used to be, there are beautiful things about what used to be. And there are things that no longer serve us. The world has shifted. And the old roles of the man providing and the woman take, staying at home and taking care of the kids, that, for the most part, no longer applies. And so I want to challenge all of you who are in committed relationships, whether you have children or not. If you're in a committed relationship and things occur in your household that you aren't even aware of, they just happen. Like the dishes just happen to get washed and the clothes just happen to be clean and folded and the floors just happen to be mopped and taken care of. I I want to challenge all of us to pay attention to who's doing that. And if it's you that's doing it and you are being a martyr and resenting your partner, I want to challenge you to speak up. I want to challenge you to ask for what you want. I want to challenge you to open your heart and decide what your boundaries are and stick to them. Because for the most part, some dudes just don't know. They grew up in households with moms and dads who did these things for them. And so we're all learning something new. We're all walking each other home to the self. This resonated, if something came up for you, leave a comment below, tag somebody, your partner especially, and share this to the world of social media. I love you so much, Preston Smiles.